Well, hello, I'm Noah Stevens. I am a portrait photographer and you are the proud new owner of a tilt shift lens. But what does that mean? How does it work? Let's find out. Usually the focal plane of a camera is parallel to the sensor. With a tilt shift lens, you can move that focal plane to the left or to the right. So what does that mean in use? Here is a picture of two cups cup behind is a little bit insecure feels like it's being etched out and we can move it into focus by merely rotating the lens you can do the same thing with objects which are behind each other so to extend focus if the out of focus thing is to the right tilt the lens left if the out of focus thing is up tilt the lens down. Basically, tilt the lens away from the thing you want to bring into focus. You can extend focus further by using a narrower f-stop. So that's the iris of the lens, right? As you close the lens down, the number gets bigger and the opening gets narrower and the depth of field becomes deeper. So for example, if you usually shoot at f2.8, shoot at f8. Uh, so why not just continue that process to the limit of the lens's aperture? Well, because at some point, the narrower you make the aperture, the higher the f-stop number, you start to introduce diffraction. Diffraction is a type of uh, imaging flaw where things once again become blurry. So you want to use a mid-range uh, f-stop like f8 and by using the mid-range f-stop and the tilt function on the lens you can extend the depth of field significantly so why are tilt shift lenses great with mirrorless cameras okay so tilt shift lenses are manual focus usually when using a manual focus lens you'd have to rely on having good luck and good eyesight and being able to focus through the lens manually. But the great thing about mirrorless cameras is you get a reticule. And that reticule works even though the lens is manual focus. You can shoot a portrait of a person, it'll first identify the face, and then as you become closer, it will identify the eye and you can turn your focus manually until you get confirmation that that eye is in focus. It's pretty great. So putting it all together, these four portraits taken, taken in a building in Detroit, which has beautiful uh, architecture by the famed architect Albert Kahn. This is my collaborator, Natalie Oliver. And we made some portraits in front of this amazing Art Deco door using the tilt shift lens. Taking the principle that we uh, learned about earlier, what is happening here is the lens is both tilted down and rotated. So that's the other function of the tilt shift lens is you're able to rotate the lens so that the plane of focus both extends uh, through the subject to the background and is at an angle. And when you see this cropped in version of the photograph, you can see that more closely. Here are a couple more photographs made with this combination. And what I really love about it is the way it renders uh, parts of the subject out of focus and introduces this very uh, surreal, romantic feeling that I think really suits this particular subject and this model. So that's a little tutorial on how the tilt shift plane of focus works. Uh, please like and subscribe or don't. No pressure. Do what you want to do. Instagram is Noah Stevens313. Follow Natalie at Natty Rockberry and visit the website NoSeries.com. Goodbye.